hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is a get on ready with me while i show you guys through my skincare routine because it's a very much asked video <laughs> because you know skin be popping and shit <laughs> okay anyways so i just want it to be kind of like a gist with me and i just basically just show you through my skincare routine and um, what I would normally do. So if I had, if I made up, if I had makeup on my face, I will use this Micella Johnson Fresh Hydration Cleansing Water because I read that it's not good to use like just wipes straight on your face. So this is what I normally use and there's no reason why I chose this. I just kind of chose this, like I think it just stuck. So if you already have one that you're using, um, just keep at it. So first, this is a very big disclaimer. I'm not a professional. This is skincare is basically trial and error. You just keep trying until you find what works for your skin. And once your skin is in this stable state, then you basically just get with it until it kind of stops responding. So um, last year I did a skincare routine and I decided to not do like skin videos ever so often on my channel. Like. Um, probably like once in a year so that to show that this is what I've been using for a while so this routine I'm about to show you I've been using it since May when I noticed that my skin was like smooth for a while but I will have like breakouts all of a sudden maybe hormonal breakout or when my skin just decides to just I don't know break out and so far so good so that's they're using this one I can say I break out just because so yes Anyways, so first thing I use my cleanser, which is basically like the soap I use on my skin. So I use Noquari Black Soap. Ah, it's about to finish now. I got it from Utopia Beauty on Instagram. And second off, I use this foam to clean my face. And I can literally say that since I still using this foam to clean my face, because normally I used to be team use your hands, but like I noticed something very, very amazing on it. Um, it is a cosmetic accessory face washing. I think I got it for about a thousand naira or less in my beauty supply store here in Kubwa. This was just, you know, vibes for the video. Um, because it's a face foam, I got like a, a clean surface where I'm going to be keeping it to use. Rinse my face, like I wet the foam then clean my face first. Okay, so this is after um cleansing my skin so i kind of let it to air dry then next step is my toner so i use the bolding skin brightening toner i get this from med plus pharmacy at um novari mall in wuse in abuja so i get my cutting my cutting wool i i don't have any specific one i love to use but just try to get the one that doesn't shed because when it sheds it gets really really annoying so you put a bit like this is the second one i've used so can we just ignore how raggedy my frontal hairline looks i'm just focus on the main thing which is the skin please <laughs> so i can before i go to the next step i let i let the, the last step like i let it sit in before moving so because i'm in this video i have to like stay in one position but normally i do my skincare routine in my room where there's fun so like it, it dries really fast so to save time i'll just take you to the next to save time, I'll take it to the next one, which is this lip balm. I got it from Miniso, and honestly, since so they're using this lip balm, it has just been positive reviews. <laughs> if you know, I mean, 
<laughs> okay well yeah so it is the hydrating moisturizing color enhanced and mm, you need more <laughs> you don't need any more convincing like i mean so yeah i so well when like the toner has sat in i go in with my treatment so this is the acne.org benzoyl peroxide 2.5 percent so first of all this treatment is very very necessary if you are acne prone so this is what i feel helped me in the beginning time when to prevent all those just because i feel like acne that just keeps popping on somebody's face so as time goes on at this stage because my skin is in a stable place i should just be putting it in troublesome spots like where i see something or not so i got this from utopia in utopia beauty so it's like it's not like like a, a cosmetic product it's like basically like a treatment it's very very good guys you can check up check their website acne.org benzoyl peroxide 2.5 percent and read reviews about it and honestly you won't even need me to say much so just put it on this but when i bought it i was using it everywhere on my face like lotion but now i just kind of use it like dab dab at the spot um yes it lasts so long so I still using it in may i have not looked back and i've not bought another one so the next thing now is the vitamin c serum so i just got this one i just honestly i was attracted to this one because of the packaging from my beauty supply store and so far so good because vitamin c serum is supposed to even out your skin and i think it's doing a good job so it is the pay me vitamin c serum skincare so just take a friend of mine corrected me you have to ensure that it doesn't like the capsule the tip doesn't touch your skin yeah, so when i started using when i started trying to formulate a skincare routine getting the moisturizer was extremely difficult for me because I don't know i did not want to go overboard and get something so super expensive that will not be in one kind of chinkunu um tube like that so this neutrogena face balm has been like literally it so since i started using this in may this is the one i've been using since like no see how small it is but this is the one i've been using since may because a little goes a long way like it is say it is extra hydrating like a body butter so when i want to use it this is how i use it I dab a little here, I dab a little here, I dab a little here. This is not too much. I'm just a little, like I just put it like that. Then I like to go in with my two hands. Well, you know, at this point, the skin is just soft and just, you know, responding back as you're rubbing it. So I get it in into my neck. And yes, this is basically all. What I love about it is that I love that it is extra hydrating, but it does not, it doesn't give you this oily um, flashback. It doesn't make you sweat. It's very light still. Please check check it out. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost Whipped Body Balm. So um, any other thing I can, I'm going to add is that first of all, my skin is normal to dry. Because the cell of my nose get dry, but my skin is normal. I don't, I do not have oily skin. Besides having a skincare routine, I will also say, please try to change your bed sheets every week and get something that works for you. So what I used to do was that I just used to tell myself that every Friday, once I'm going to work, I remove my bed sheet and my pillowcase, so that once I come back from work, I'm changing my pillowcase and bed sheet. So that way, I do not use a bed sheet or pillowcase past one week. You try to like do not use your hands to touch your, your face like try to prevent your face from being in a very dirty position because once you start using this product it kind of opens your pores up to more microorganisms so if you notice that like when you are not even having a skincare routine you notice that you probably can like sleep on a bed sheet one month and nothing is happening to you but all of a sudden you start having a skincare routine and before you know it small thing pimples they will say oh change your pillowcase and it will stop it's because your pores are getting open so every small bacteria or microorganism is like really affecting you now so once you start like it's a lifelong journey and this should not be discouraging because like you know having a good skin is nice and stuff so yes 
please check out the um, for the acne.org if you have access to the face foam i think you really did amazing stuff on my face also the toners and everything so please don't forget so please, if your acne is a very very severe case please make sure you visit a dermatologist i can i'll put two links of dermatologists i know in nigeria that you can meet and consult via instagram and please 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 ensure that you do not just go to a roadside market and get this product because if you get a fake it may not work for you so i try my best to limit my skincare products to big malls that i know that i have tried and kind of like tested and trusted and pharmacies so maybe a little bit on the higher side at these places but at least you get the value for your money because like Neutrogena now is a very popular brand and they are going to they tend to be a lot of fakes because like the more popular it is the more it stands the chance to be a fake and before you before you just go and purchase the product i think the best you read about it check about it for your skin type and everything so some acids to look out for if you are acne prone like me are uh, um, benzoyl peroxide salicylic acid glycolic acid retinols so these are chem um, active chemicals and so just read about it to ensure that like you are safe and everything but this is all the routine i have so thank you very much for watching the end of this video like and comment and subscribe on this video if you have any more questions i'll do my best to answer the questions is my best capability and what I know how to buy. See you next time.